Thanks for joining me on day 14 of the third day ultimate creativity challenge. Today's prompt for the challenge is sickness, unholy being, and white. All right, I got a pretty good idea of what I want to do, so I hope you guys like it. So for today's drawing, I wanted to draw a vampire because vampires are traditionally these unholy beings and they can't even be come close to crosses because crosses are like unholy. So um, I wanted to draw her just, you know, being like a, a sexy thing because most people back in the day, like this is just unheard of. This is very unholy dressing all sexy when vampires were actually believed and feared in. Um, with my sketch, I'm just trying to add in wrinkles and things. And her face, I, I really like the face for the day 10 drawing Lily. So I'm trying to recreate Lily's face actually on this vampire just to get used to drawing the same face over and over again. Um, I guess her face or her head doesn't really match her body. But in the end, it does. I couldn't really figure out what type of hair to give her. And then I ended up giving her somewhat of a half up, half down hairdo. And mixed with other bangs. And I kind of like the result I did for that. Uh, if you want to figure out hairstyles. Hairstyles are probably the most fun thing to play with. Here I'm throwing in Lino. I, I kind of wanted to give her wavy hair. So that was my attempt of wavy hair. Tell me what you guys think. I changed the um, brush width for her mouth. I'm still getting used to my tablet. Like, I don't quite have the knack of the pressure sensitivity because I'll draw lightly, but then the pressure or the, the width doesn't really change very much. But maybe it's because I'm using such a small brush. Like, I use a size 4 brush for most of my drawings. And as I'm drawing her... I realized that her hips, or she just looked like she was leaning really weird. I don't know, something about her pose is weird, and I couldn't quite figure it out. So you'll just see me messing around with it, and still couldn't figure it out. Anyway, here I'm just calling her in. Since the theme is white again, I'm just using the grayscale, whites and blacks. Um, I feel like this challenge has too many grayscale options and when they developed the challenge I don't think they realized what they were doing when they made a black a white and a gray for the visual style my I gave her a little bit of blush I tried I decided to try that out I kind of like the blush but at the same time I could do without blush and then here I'm just adding in hair details I tried different ways to draw her hair and I kind of like the end result, mm, I did it most. And then this also copies the style I did for day four where I draw in the things and then I blend in the shading. For her background, I just do different gradients, circle gradients in the back and sign it off. And then here is where I notice what my hip problem is. I drew the hips completely disproportionately. The hips were way too long, so I shortened them up. And then I had to redraw it and recolor it, which is good because I ended up liking the coloring a lot better. I added in the shading a little differently, and I may have missed a few things on it, but in the end, I really like the results. So compare it to the first one, and there you go. We'll sign it off. I think I failed because drawing this unholy vampire, I completely forgot that she was supposed to look sick, although vampires don't really get sick. So I guess I failed today's challenge. But it's okay because it ended up being one of my favorite drawings. If you like this video, please leave a like or click that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe to my channel because that'd be awesome. Anyway, have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 15.